How's it going everybody? Too spooky here. And welcome back to yet another installment of Nen Explained, where we explain a character's Nen abilities in depth and how they work. In this installment, we're going to be explaining Isaac Netero's Nen abilities. To start with a general overview, it should be noted right off the bat that Netero was at one point considered the strongest Nen user in the entire world. Though at the point in the story where we knew him, he compared himself to about the same level as Nav or Moral. So even though he's no longer at his prime, he's still on the same level as some of the strongest hunters. Though at the same time, he was probably just being a little bit modest and exaggerating his actual power. Regarding his old age, it's also unknown exactly how old Netero was before his death. Although based on a flashback we saw when he was 46, it stated that these events happened over 60 years ago. So from that we can assume at the very least he's over 110 years old. According to Zeno, Netero has been an old man ever since he was a baby, and considering Zeno is 67, this would make Netero at least close to double his age. Because Aura itself is essentially life energy, and learning to control it at an expert level can not only prolong your life, but also your youth, the fact that Netero is so old, yet so powerful, can also be seen as a testament to the extent of his Nen abilities. It's unknown at this point when exactly Netero developed his Nen abilities, but it was likely either during or slightly after the events of the flashback we talked about earlier, where he trained in the mountains to complete 10,000 punches every day as a way to show his gratitude to the martial arts. At first, taking 8 hours to complete all 10,000, but after 2 years, it would only take an hour or less, making it so his punches were faster than the speed of sound. It should also be noted that during these years of constant punching, it seemed as though Netero didn't eat, or at the very least, we were never shown him doing so. After this, or possibly even before this, it should also be noted that Netero has taken two different expeditions to the Dark Continent, and of course returned alive. Alive. Though it was also mentioned to be a constant battle for survival, even for him. To further show his immense strength, Zeno also noted that Netero is the only known person to have fought with his grandfather, Maha Zoldik, and lived to tell the tale. The fact that Netero was also eventually elected as the 12th chairman of the Hunters Association is also a reflection of his abilities both with Nen and as a hunter. And the final thing I need to mention is that because Netero was once the strongest Nen user in the world, he is also able to recognize the strength of others. As he stated that Jing was one of the five strongest Nen users in the world after witnessing his abilities with Nen. Because Netero was regarded as the strongest Nen user in the world, we can also assume all of his basic and advanced techniques of Nen are top tier. And one example of this could be his use of Ren on Meruem, which made him experience actual fear for the first time in his life. Now with that background information out of the way, let's move on to his actual Nen abilities. It should first be noted that Netero himself is an enhancer. That being said, all of the Nen abilities we've seen him use have nothing to do with enhancement at all which reflects just how advanced his Nen abilities actually are. Because if Netero can effectively use other Nen types without being a specialist himself, that is actually truly impressive, especially when all of his techniques also include manipulation, which for enhancers in general, means that Netero should only have a rate of 60% effectiveness with manipulation even at its greatest extent. It should also be noted that the abilities we're going to cover are possibly not all of Netero's Hatsu, as Zeno referred to 100 type Guanyin Bodice Hatfa as his most powerful move, meaning he could have other Hatsu abilities we never got to see. Guanyin Bo- Jesus Christ, what? That being said, when it comes to his actual Nen abilities, from the techniques we got to see, they all center around the 100 type Guanyin Bodhisattva, which is an emission and manipulation ability. When the ability is activated, Netero emits an enormous golden statue behind him that is equipped with a large number of arms. Each of these arms are capable of delivering a very fast and powerful blow, but to initiate an attack with these arms, Netero needs to clasp his hands together in a fluid motion as if to pray, before lowering his hands which will signal the attack. 
While this praying motion could be seen as a downfall, as it can be viewed as a limitation to make the ability more powerful, Netero is capable of doing this entire motion in 0.1 seconds, meaning he's capable of doing up to 1,000 attacks in a single minute if he keeps doing it continuously. So because of how fast he's able to complete this motion, it can hardly be seen as a downfall at all, or at the very least, he found a way to quickly overcome it. To take this immense speed even further, when Netero first ran into Pito, he not only spoke a full sentence, but also completed this motion in 0.1 seconds, to the point where Pito didn't even realize what hit her because it happened so suddenly. The palm strike that results from these motions are also immensely powerful demonstrated by how far they were able to send Pito with just one hit. The palm strikes themselves also do not come from just one single location, as Netero is able to decide where they will originate from after completing the motion, making it so this ability also has seemingly infinite attack possibilities. All of Netero's other Nen abilities that we got to see center around this ability as a different hand technique. So let's go over them now. The first technique is called First Hand, which is another emission and manipulation ability. After performing the hand clasp, this time around, Netero makes a chopping motion with one of his hands, which will cause the statue to chop its opponent with great speed and force. It was so fast and powerful that Meruem was not only caught off guard because he couldn't even see the attack coming, but it also caused him to spit out blood, meaning it's capable of injuring even the Chimera Ant King. The second technique is called Third Hand, which is another emission and manipulation ability. This time around, after completing the hand clasp, Netero claps his hands together, which causes the statue to clap two hands around its opponent with great speed and force. Essentially meaning this technique is used to clap some cheeks. The third technique is called 99th Hand, which is yet another emission and manipulation ability. After clasping his hands, Netero places his right ankle on his left calf, and places his hands next to each other while shaping his fingers to appear like the number 99. Netero then holds this position throughout the entire attack. The statue will then perform the Gum Gum Gatling on its opponent. And for those of you who didn't understand that reference, the statue brings out a massive barrage of constant palm strikes with each of its arms. Each strike is equally as powerful as his other single hand techniques. <laughs> Although unlike the other techniques, Netero does not need to repeat his hand clasp after each individual hand strike, and instead only needs to hold that 99 hand position I mentioned before. I've got 99 problems but a bitch ain't one. Hit me! <laughs> The final technique we got to see was called Zero Hand, which is considered an emission, manipulation, and transmutation ability. This technique is considered Netero's last resort, and therefore could also be considered his single most powerful technique. To execute it, Netero clasps his hands together and prays with all of his heart, before raising one hand into the air. The statue will then appear behind the enemy, grab them tightly with its hands so they cannot escape, and then focuses all of Netero's aura in its mouth, before blasting it in the form of a concentrated energy beam at its opponent. I'm a firing malevolent! <laughs> This destructive power, be it unparalleled, was still unfortunately not enough to defeat Meruem. However, it did injure him more than any other attack. Because this technique uses all of Netero's aura, he will then rapidly age, as he no longer has any aura in his body. So his appearance after using this technique is supposed to show us how old Netero would actually look if he hadn't been using aura to suppress his aging up to that point, kind of like I mentioned earlier. While those are all the techniques we got to see, I also wanted to not only remind you that Netero likely had other forms of Hatsu in general, I would also theorize that he likely had other techniques for his 100 type Guanyin Bodhisattva, as we only saw the first, third, 99th, and zero hands. And because it has 100 type in its name, I would be willing to bet that overall, this Hatsu has 100 different hand attacks in total, and we only ended up seeing 4 of them. Which, if you think of it that way, it's pretty disappointing that we didn't get to see more. But again, this is just a theory so this may also not be true. But let me know what you guys think down below, along with what other potential techniques he could have, but we never got to see. But with that guys, I've officially explained Netero's 
men abilities and how they work. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and found a better understanding of his nen abilities. If you did, make sure to drop a fat like and subscribe so you don't miss the next installment of Nen Explained. With that, be sure to comment which character's Nen you would like to learn about next. Before we go, I also just quickly wanted to mention that I've got some limited time merch available from now until January 1st. Last year, we had a limited time Christmas sweater, and this year, we've got three. Two of which are actually Christmas-themed this time around. While the third is the same design from last year, however, as an alternate version to make sure that the true OGs who copped it last year still stand out. There are two links below that you can follow to cop one of these designs before they disappear, and they're also available in multiple colors so you can choose it to your liking. This way, you can both support the channel if you want to, and the how holiday spirit at the same time, so be sure to check them out before they're gone, and thank you ahead of time if you decide to pick one up. With that guys, if you'd like to see some more too spooky content, well be sure to click here for the previous installments of Nen Explained. You can click here for Kite's Nen Abilities and Neferpito's Nen Abilities. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys soon with the next installment of Nen Explained.